Hello, it's Matt Santa. And Rose Santa. <laughs> what are we doing today, Mr. Rose Santa? We're getting ready for Christmas. Yeah? Yeah. It's Christmas here at the Bleepin' Jeep Studios. It is Christmas. It's close to Christmas. We're a week away? No, it is Christmas today. Today's Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> I need to go. I got some other <laughs> stuff I should be doing, I'm sure of that. <laughs> but what we are doing is we're going to talk about something that I ran across at uh, a recent Jeep show I was at. I can barely find any literature on these things and don't know much about them but other than what I was told. So I'm like totally uh, amazed by what this little thing is. And uh, It seems pretty cool, and if it works, I might sell them on the website but i have to see if they work or not first so i'm going to test them and go from yeah. there so what it is it is a i don't know how the right term would be but i would call it a relay that automatically turns off your battery if you have a draw and you start to get below 11.8 volts i have a video on how to test for parasitic draw uh, but if you don't want to do that, or if you leave your headlights on, or leave the door open, or you this, just can't figure it out, this know? will shut off your battery, shut all the power off, so that you can still start your car when you come back. You just have to hit a little reset button, and it's like flipping the breaker, and everything comes back on, and you're able to start your car with how many volts? Uh, it's 11.8. 11.8. Your bat your normal battery holds 12.6 and your car will traditionally always start with at least like 10 and a half 11 volts. So 11.8 is way more than enough and uh this little thing just seems super neat like Matt said, you know, you leave your headlights on, you leave your radio going, you go inside and forget about it or whatever. If if it came down to that, it would just shut your car off and when you went out to start it, you push a button and boom, you're you're back to life. All right, let's take a look at it. Before we do, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Thumbs and up. subscribe. And subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get started. Let's get to it. So there's two models. Don't pay attention to what the box said because I've got a couple more of these and the names are just kind of bounced around here, how they are, they have different names. but. Besides that, like that says starter guard, and that says sure start, and that one says RPM, you know, reserve power <laughs> Made module. So, in China, I would assume. Yeah, so don't pay attention to that. But there's a small, small model for like motorcycles, lawnmowers, and uh, anything like that. Jet ski would be a great, you know, because everybody always has problem with jet ski batteries and such. Small model, and then there is a larger model, which is more of a marine application. Uh, that's quite a bit larger and uh, it has a big on and off switch on top of it and uh, this one you can actually technically get with a key fob uh, option as well if you wanted it um, but we don't have that today and I don't really understand why you'd want that exactly like yeah. a wireless key fob yeah it operates with this one comes with a side terminal bolt which is kind of nice for a lot of GM stuff and then it has a fusible link right here and a ground wire and what that's for is this little terminal right here on this one right here if you want to make sure that your radio doesn't lose presets if you have a vehicle that that would happen some vehicles don't really do that because they just don't but that right there you could hook up your radio presets to that and yeah it's kind of counterintuitive I guess a little bit I don't think your radio presets gonna run your battery down but if you had something you really cared about um, your clock, your clock yeah. that's part of your radio presets in a sense if you wanted to get into rewiring that fuse you you could easily do that and then that's where that goes that's a never going to shut off power right. source let's go put it on see if it works i like it so <laughs> this is kind of what we came up with right here we're going to take it and put it together like this obviously we'll tighten this bolt here and this terminal goes on that side and there's it says right here battery plus on this side and cable plus on this side so that's kind of what we're coming up with and from the looks of it, we're gonna do something just like this right here, and that's the that's what we're thinking. We're gonna move it around here, move it around there, something like that. How do we loosen this guy? There we go. That's why I've got the plug. Oh my god, you're I'm really you strong. Power, dude. I'm really strong. There we go. So we tighten that. 
we got this dude there. So, whoa! I think we just burnt the whole Jeep down. I hope not. That would be would be bad, huh? That's tight there. Tying this dude down. That looks good there. Cause that's about as simple as it gets. And now all we have to do, cause this is a relay that's gonna go clunk, clunk. It needs a ground. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. I already got the tie. What are you doing, Wes? What? I just, oh, he's gonna break it. You didn't tie it tie. Okay, bro. I saw you. See, now that's now tight. You'll, no, but we'll take this right here off now. And we're gonna put it to a ground whether, wherever we want to. And uh, that's about it. And then we'll be able to test it. Ground, there's one right there. There's an awful lot of wires <laughs> going to that thing already. You, two, three, four. Hey, there's a lot of zombie implements in the zombie machine. I, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. But the problem is, um, when you are running from the zombies, you, you got to have something like this to keep your battery good. So, told you that was the perfect ground. It does look like it might work out amazing. <laughs> Oh, one little key to this thing. I think I may have said this, maybe not. This is also partially anti-theft because if you hold the button for five seconds, it automatically disengages this. So you could hide this under your dash, hold that down for five seconds, boom, it kicks it out automatically, and then no one can steal your junk without having to like take all this off. Like, You're you know. saying this, but we haven't tested it yet, remember? Dude, this is... I found the wire. Let's do it. All right, so this says off, on, off like a marine switch kind of has. So let's turn it and see what happens. <laughs> Way to go. No, you got two batteries. I keep saying this. Is this battery over here isolated? Yes, it's not connected right now. Let me make sure. But, yeah. Let me make sure you positive light. Nope, not connected. Right, well, the go the other direction. We're going to try the other way. I think you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I think you got ripped. <laughs> okay, we yeah, we figured it out, folks. Okie doke. So we figured it out. I thought that this was like a master kill switch, which I kind of thought was, you know, weak for that, if you will, because normally it's like a big heavy switch, but we figured it out. When you turn it to off, it bypasses this dude so that it doesn't work. And we talked like, so why would you need that? So say you want your radio to keep running, you're listening to the football game and you don't care if your battery goes dead, or you just know that they're about to score and you want to keep going. You can technically turn that to the off position and it would keep going. <laughs> they're about to score. They're about to score. You don't or know. if your alternator goes dead and you need to make it home and your battery is getting low, but you just have to get there. Yeah, because it'll keep running, you know, even below 11 point eight for a long time especially during the day um, as long as your headlights and such aren't on so you could just turn it off and drive on home it's kind of neat actually when we figured it out yeah okay so let's show them plug that in so here's our switch so it plugs in like so right here yeah. like i said this is kind of an option well it turns out it's not really an option you no would, it's not an option you, you, you have to it. have it you have it now you can leave it under the hood if you really wanted to but so you run that to the cab, and they can see this light, so show them that. So. so now it's off, and this is where this thing comes about. So at 11, if it holds 11.8 volts for longer than 30 seconds, this thing trips, and that's what it's supposed to do. So now you just barely push it, it comes right back on. Right, and if you don't want it to work, you turn that. Now when you press the button, it won't do anything. You can hear it trying, but it won't. So the next step is to show them, if we leave the headlights on, how it trips itself. Yes, and boss. Can we do that? Heck yeah, we can. We need a uh, multimeter so we can test how much how much power is in the battery right now, and then uh, and let it go. And we'll turn everything on this thing. We'll turn everything <laughs> on this puppy on. Every light. Let's see how many we got. We have a lot, actually. We have a lot. It's a zombie no wonder, Jeep. No wonder that thing has a battery drop. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder. Okay, we got the multimeter. We're at 12.2 volts. Let's I see how much stuff we can turn on. Let's turn some junk on. <laughs> okay. Let's just turn it on. Turn it on. 
Ah, turn it on. Oh god, we gotta listen to that. Uh oh, the fire, the the rockets are gonna launch when I back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Cigarette lighter work. <laughs> all the doors. Make sure all the lights are on. Hey, I could turn the compressor on. Is it going down that yeah, fast? Yeah, it's going down. What's it supposed to trip at? It's an 11.8. It didn't trip. Do we have it on or off? It's on. For 30 seconds, though. It's supposed to be below 11.8 for 30 seconds. Oh, maybe we should turn some stuff off. This is going It's going to go so, so fast we won't be able to start it. Should I go shut the compressor off? No, I want to let it go. All right. I want to see what's going to happen. Let's see if it kills itself or if... Yahtzee! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Now, hold on. It jumped back up to 11.9 with all the crap. Let's hit the button. Who's your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> now, is it going to trip again? It should. But you have 30 seconds to start the car, but you would turn off all of your lights or whatever. Whatever was the issue, yeah. Right. So we need to time it and see if it's true 30 seconds. Yeah. That was a pretty long 30 seconds a second ago. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? The thing's beeping, ain't it? Is that the power inverter? Did you? Oh, yeah, it is. Beeping because it. That's low. Look at that. <laughs> that was probably 60 seconds, though. No, that's like 30 seconds. No. I can look at it on my on here. Okay, then you're right. Can't argue with you there. <laughs> so. That's pretty cool. Well, that is pretty cool. So now what we do is we go shut off our head yeah. our headlights or whatever the heck we got going on. Turn off the compressor. Even though we killed the battery, we should be able to restart this. Are you ready? Let's do it. Sweet, fuel pump's working. <laughs> Uh-oh. The zombie's gonna get me. Here we go. It works. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I better shut it off before we die. Starter guard. All right, where do you think you could use these? I'm gonna, let's go back and forth. Uh, Four wheeler. Dirt bike. Jet ski. Lawn mower. Damn, you took math. <laughs> Can't use out a chainsaw. That is <laughs> mean, it was a mean <laughs> chainsaw, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, maybe a battery operated generator, maybe? I'm getting, I'm getting way out there now. Oh, how about this? How about a Jeep? A car. A car. A <laughs> truck. A semi truck, your tractor. The thing has a 500 amp rating. So, you know, your winch doesn't pull more than 400 amps. Now this is peak amps, uh, so, you know, but again, a diesel pulls quite a few amps, so I don't know what they pull. I don't think they pull more than a winch, but maybe it shouldn't go on a diesel, I don't know. Boat. If we can find where these are manufactured, I will get some for the website and be a dealer. And what does the back of that say? Chinesium. Chinesium. <laughs> it says NASDAQ. <laughs> what does it say? NASDAQ? Yeah. Uh-oh. Either yeah. way, we're going to figure that out. I'm going to find these on the stock market. Yeah. We're going to try to figure it out, but I thought it was cool, so I got two, and uh, it worked. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Now i got to pay him 500 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> that works. Hey, that's a great deal. <laughs> but just think of what you'll get to sell it to them for. No. They're cheaper. They're like what? A hundred bucks? Only if they're a subscriber. <laughs> Five hundred for non subscribers? Hundred for subscribers. No, they're cheaper than that. But I don't know the price yet. Yeah. Um so should be like a fifty dollar thing. If it you like be. the video, hit the thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. If you really like the videos, check out Patreon where you can get perks as well, early video releases. And uh, hit that little blue bell, right? The little hit blue bell. The blue bell. Comment below what you think. Uh, if you've seen anything like this, and uh, what you think about it, if you have a use. Yeah, tell us what you would use it on. 
and if there's any more, like you said, have you seen one before? Because we've never seen one before. I, I know they make this because when I was doing some searching, like a lot of new electric cars, people from dealerships are putting these on cars. Well, you said it was like 500 bucks or so the three to five, three to thou, three hundred to a thousand dollar option for them to put them on a car from a dealership, brand new. There was a Ford dealer that. Um, or maybe I can't say four dealer. There was a dealer <laughs> that uh, that put these on uh, every vehicle on their lot because um, they were such a large dealer that they had over 4,000 cars and the cars on the lot were physically dying before they would sell them, I guess. That's how many cars they had. So they were putting them on every car just to keep from having dead batteries. Imagine keeping 4,000 vehicles charged. <laughs> yeah, so. All right. but, Thanks, Merry guys. Christmas, guys. Woo.